Situated in the eastern province of Sri Lanka and surrounded by lush greenery and blue waters, you can find the scenic and rural Muslim village called Muthu Naga. The village is home to 118 families whose primary livelihoods are fishing, agriculture farming, livestock rearing and labour work. In order to manage their daily expenses and feed their families, the people of Muthunaga, faced with hardship and hunger, struggle with low-paying jobs and livelihoods. Unable to handle the cost of living and daily expenses due to the low incomes of the breadwinners of the families, both the men and women of Muthunaga work equally hard to make ends meet. Groups of women travel many miles to the coastal side to collect shellfish like oysters and clams and return to the village to sell them. Despite engaging in this livelihood, with their best efforts and overcoming many obstacles, these women continue to earn only a meagre income. Another segment of women in Muthunaga are working in garment factories, usually found in the areas at the border of the village, and are working in these establishments for a very low wage. Due to the abject poverty affecting their families, women and young girls have to travel far to work. However, they endure many challenges because they are unable to afford transport and have mounting concerns of the safety of their children, whom they have to leave behind in order to work. <laughs> These hardworking women believe that if a job or livelihood opportunities were present within the village itself, it would make their lives much easier and safer. In Shafinaga, a GS division of Muthur, 30 female youth and women who are living under the poverty line were given opportunities by Muslim aid to engage in handloom production. The industry was instigated with the funds raised during the period of Ramadan last year. 
With the launch of a mini handloom industry in the heart of the village, these families were able to engage in an income generating activity close to their homes. And also last year during Ramadan, Muslim Maid reached out to 25 families who were struggling without a permanent income or livelihood. They were each provided one variety of stud and nine numbers of female goats. With their livestock rearing experience, the farmers are able to breed a new generation of more weighted goats with the ones provided. And by selling these high variety category of goats, they are able to generate a good and sufficient income. <laughs> With the backing of your charitable Zakat and Sadaka funding, it is possible to create long-term and fruitful livelihood opportunities for disadvantaged families in rural villages like Muthu Naga and other similarly underdeveloped villages, empowering them to build a promising future for themselves. எங்கட கிராமத்துல இப்படி ஒரு வேளை இருந்தா பக்கத்துலயே போய்ட்டு எங்கட வீட்டடே முடிஞ்சிரும் எங்கட பெண்கள் சிறு கை தொழில் சரி எங்கட கிராமத்துல அமைச்சி தரத்துக்கு யாரும் இல்ல அப்படி ஒண்ட அமைதியும் இல்ல எங்களுக்கு அப்படி அமைஞ்ச மிச்சோ லேசா இருக்கும் எங்களுக்கு நஞ்ச இருந்தே இந்த புள்ளையளோட இருந்து நான் செய்யணும் எனக்கு அத சம்பணம் 10 கோழி இருந்தாலும் பரவால கோழி வளப்புக ஆடு வளப்பு எல்லாத்துக்கும் வசதி கொஞ்சம் உதவி செஞ்சீங்க சென்னாங்களை வீட்ல ஜெமாய் செஞ்சி ஒரு இதே சரி ஒரு தொழில் ஏற்படுத்தீங்கன்னா நாங்க எங்கட வீட்ல புள்ள குடி எஜிகிட்டு பிரச்சனைகள் <laughs> Let's join hands this Ramadan and take responsibility to distribute our zakat and sadaka in a manner that will empower and liberate the poor. Muslim Aid Sri Lanka, we know I've been working with them for a long time as a person. They consult us in many projects and one of their important projects is livelihood development. There are, they go to different villages, they select, they have a proper study and they go through every single individual's report and see what do they need. They just don't give charity, they try to help them and see their knowledge and skill and assist them, help them and that charity eventually makes them independent. Eventually they start giving out. So I encourage all of you in this Ramadan, the month of charity, the month of spirituality, the month where you connect and you rectify your relationship with Almighty, you have to rectify your relationship with your fellow human being. During this blessed month, let us help them achieve financial independence and a better quality of life.